What is up everybody, if you that don't know me, my name is Mr. Growit. In this video, I'm gonna unbox the Apogee MQ500 quantum sensor. When growing cannabis, this quantum sensor, or often referred to as PAR meter, is used to measure photon density. This is the amount of PAR, or photosynthetic active radiation, the energy that plants use in photosynthesis, that's being emitted from the grow light. This sensor picks up all light in the 400 to 700 nanometer range. Okay, let's get into the unboxing. This is the shipping box, and as you can see when opening, it's packed nicely with some bubble wrap. There is a small piece of paper in there which thanks me for ordering and tells me to go to the website for additional information. The quantum sensor comes in this carrying case, and then when I open the case, it's completely padded for protection. Here's the quantum sensor. It comes with a two meter cable, and I'm just pulling off the plastic material right now. And the cord comes zip tied as well, so I had to cut that off. There's a cap on top of the actual sensor for protection. And I bought the wand as well. This was an additional cost. It does not come with the MQ500. The wand extends to 84 centimeters, and you can just pull it out, and that's how it extends. So no release button or anything like that. It comes with a few Velcro pieces, and then lastly, it comes with a battery. Uh, this battery will, of course, need to be put into the sensor before operating, and I'll do that in a minute. Uh, first, I'm going to attach the wand. I need to unscrew the screw that's in the bottom of the sensor. And now I'll attach the top of the wand to the sensor, and then screw the screw back on. Next, I'll remove the back plate and add in the battery, and the battery just slides right in. And then after I reattach the back plate, the quantum sensor is ready to use. Since this sensor doesn't come with an instruction manual, I highly recommend that you watch the instructional video that Apogee created. I'll leave a link to that video in the description section below, along with a link to the MQ500 quantum sensor. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please click that thumbs up, and I will leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace.